So welcome to another very interesting challenge in HackerRank and this is called Solve Array Division. It's going to be very interesting and I'm going to explain to you a very easy way to solve it. Let's see what the question is all about. It says two children, Lily and Ron, want to share a chocolate bar. Each of the squares has an integer on it and Lily decides to share a contiguous segment of the bar selected such that the length of the segment matches Ron's birth month and the sum of the integers on the squares is equal to the to his birthday determine how many ways she can divide the chocolate now let's be honest let's be honest some of these questions uh the write-up kind of becomes confusing and makes it a bit difficult to understand so to explain this question easily i'm going to go to my whiteboard so what they are saying in effect is if you have an array you want to get subarray of these arrays that is that the sum is equal to a given number. So in this case, if we have s is equal to an array, let's say two, two, one, three, two. This is the array given in the question right here, which is this one, and you are given d to be four and s to be two. Now sorry and m to be 2 so this is going to be m and not d so the simple thing they want you to do this is 2 so if i go back to the question you can see that the bar the, the lead decides to share a continued a contiguous segment of the bar so meaning that we need contiguous segment for instance this uh, i don't like this so I'm going to just go back here. Okay, so we have, we should have something like the first one, we're going to check this because it has to be contiguous. So you can do two, three, two, or you can do two, one, three. So it has to be contiguous. So we're going to check this. And next we are going to check this. And next we are going to check this. So it has to be contiguous. So for each of the check, we are going to check if the sum of these uh, items is equal to this. So basically, we should have one index here, i, and this index to be j. So initially, we should have i, let me use blue, we should have i initially should be zero, and j initially should be, this is m, this is m, right? So j initially should be, uh, M, which is given to us. And now we are going to check if the sum of this subarray, if the sum of this subarray is going from index i to j. We are going to check if the sum of the array going from index i to j is equal to d. Alright? So if this is the case, then we are going to increase our count. We found one of them. Else, else we are going to say i is equal to i plus 1 and j is equal to j plus 1. So in this case, we simply advance, shift one window uh, ahead, right? Now the terminating condition should be that j, which is the higher index, this is j, which is the higher index is always has to be less than or equal to the length of the array. So we can say that the terminating condition here should be anytime j is. Can just give me one second. So j must always be less than or equal to the length of the array x. So this is how the logic goes. Now I'm going to write the, the, the code and I'm going to then explain it to you further as I write and it's going to be clearer as I write and explain. So let's go to the code window downwards. So I'm going to shift down to the code window and let's start writing this program. So the first thing we want to do here is to say j is equal to, sorry, i is equal to zero, the, start, the starting index and j is equal to m, right? The ending index. So this is our first window 
going from the first item to the end item. And we also initialize our counts to be zero. Counts to be zero. All right, so we are going to say while, because we are going to specify our terminating condition to be while j is less than or equal to length of the array. We are going to now check if the sum of the array of i to j, i to j, we're going to check if this sum is equal to the, the sum given to us here is d, right? So if this sum is equal to d, we are going to simply count plus equals 1. And yeah, so that's what we are going to do else. Uh, of course, there is no else. If it's not, then we simply move one window ahead. So I'm going to say i is equal to, or i plus is equal to, the so short circuit is equal to 1, and j plus is equal to 1, and that's it. So at the end of this, at the end of the day, we are simply going to return count. Yeah. So in this case, we should have it working correctly. So for each of the sliding window, we are gonna, uh, if it's equal to D, we increase the count, that is fine. And then we also uh, increase the, the, the step, J is equal to, uh, J plus is equal to one, J and I plus is equal to one. And at the end of the day, we should have the count for where the criteria holds true. So I'm going to go down and run this code and let's see if it works. And you can see that the first three test cases passed correctly. I'm going to then submit this code and see if it passes all the test cases. And yeah, and that is it. It passes all the test cases. And I think we've done so well. If you've come this far, a big thumbs up to you. I'd like to stop here, but I'd also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you, um, if you are joining me for the first time and also if you have any challenges whatsoever, please leave me a comment in the comment box below. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and we see you in the next challenge. And I'm always there for you.